thrilled to be here. It's my great honor to represent the President of the United States here in the demilitarized zone. And I'm very grateful uh, for the leadership of uh, General Brooks and General Lee and the uh, ironclad and immutable alliance that is represented here by these two strong military leaders. To stand here in this place, uh, to be able to give evidence of the commitment of the people of the United States to our long-term alliance with the people of South Korea is a great honor for me. And I bring greetings to our soldiers here and to soldiers of South Korea uh, from the President of the United States. Uh, we commend them for their vigilance uh, here along this historic frontier of freedom. Uh, and, uh, and we express the resolve of the people of the United States of America to stand together uh, in the months and years ahead with the people of South Korea to both preserve their freedom and ensure the objective of a denuclearized Korean Peninsula. It is an objective not just shared by the United States and the people of South Korea, but by our allies across the globe. Uh, we are heartened by the support of allies across the Asian Pacific, including China, who will continue to advance this objective on the Korean Peninsula. And I'm here to express the resolve of the people of the United States and the President of the United States to achieve that objective through peaceable means, through negotiations, uh, but all options are on the table uh, as we continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of South Korea for the denuclearization of this peninsula and for the long-term prosperity uh, and freedom uh, of the people uh, of South Korea. Uh, let me say it's also very humbling for me to be here because my father served here in Korea in the United States Army uh, more than 64 years ago. Uh, the general favored me this morning with a few reflections on my father's service here. And it seems altogether fitting that as Vice President, uh, I could be here to personally express uh, the timeless bond between the people of South Korea and the people uh, of the United States of America. Uh, people across the world should know uh, that the bonds between our people are not simply strategic, and military and economic, but they are personal. And they span generations of Americans and South Koreans. And on that foundation, uh, we will see freedom through. We will see the interest of the security and prosperity uh, of the people of South Korea. Uh, and in a word, we go together. I think President Trump and President Xi had a very a frank and a productive discussion about a broad range of international issues, including the denuclearization of the Korean uh, Peninsula. Uh, I know the President is hopeful uh, that China will use its influence uh, here on the Korean Peninsula with North Korea to achieve that objective. Uh, and we are heartened by some initial steps uh, that China has taken in this regard, but we look for them we look for them to do more, uh, and our hope uh, is that uh, we'll be able, uh, working with China, uh, working with our partners here in South Korea, working with Japan and other allies across the region to achieve this objective uh, through peaceable means. And a preemptive strike President, would be on the table? Uh, as the President's made clear, we will never discuss uh, military tactical decisions, but uh, the President's made clear, our administration's made clear. We stand with the people of South Korea. Uh, and all options are on the table to achieve uh, the objectives and ensure the security of the people uh, of this country and the stability of this region. I think the message of the people of the United States of America is that we <coughs> seek peace, but America has always sought peace through strength. And my message here today standing with U.S. Forces Korea, standing with uh, courageous soldiers from the Republic of Korea, is a message of resolve. The people of North Korea, the military of North Korea, should not mistake the resolve of the United States of America to stand with our ally. 
the alliance between South Korea and the United States is ironclad. We will fulfill that alliance for the sake of our people and the people of South Korea, and we will continue to stand strong to achieve our shared objective across this region and across the world of a denuclearized Korean Peninsula. Last question. I know that uh, President Trump is very hopeful uh, that China will take actions necessary to bring about a change in policy in North Korea, an abandonment of its nuclear weapons program and its ballistic missile program. Uh, we're hopeful that they'll use the extraordinary leverage that they have and relationship they have with North Korea to achieve that objective. Uh, but as the President's made very clear, uh, either China will deal with this problem or the United States and our allies will. Now, with regard to a change, we, we have literally gone through decades. It was more than some quarter century ago that we first learned of the presence of nuclear weapons on the Korean Peninsula in the possession of North Korea. Now, there was an agreed framework. There was a period of strategic patience. But the era of strategic patience is over. Uh, President Trump has made it clear that the patience of the United States and our allies in this region has run out, and we want to see change. We want to see North Korea abandon its reckless path of the development of nuclear we weapons and also its continual use of and testing of ballistic missiles is unacceptable. Uh, that clarity, uh, we hope, uh, will be received in North Korea and that they will understand that the United States of America, the people of South Korea, our allies across the region are resolved to achieve our objectives through peaceable means or ultimately by whatever means are necessary to protect the interest, the security of the people of South Korea, and to bring stability to the region.